Hello friends! Blender has released a new bug fix version, which fixes over 80 bugs. And so we release a new version too. Beef Artist version 3.0.1. Let's have a look what is new. The new key map is in place. The focus functionality is now hotkey F. This can also be found here. This was formerly hotkey numpad 0 and this has this means that you always had to release the mouse to press this numpad hotkey. Now you have F at the left hand, which is much faster to navigate without to release the mouse. The brushes hotkeys that were formerly mapped to hotkey F are now, let's go to, let's say, sculpt mode, mapped to X, C, and V. We have now tested this for months and it works just fine for us. And as you can see with the hotkey F, this is a big improvement. You don't need to release the mouse anymore to send out the view at selection. Um, it can still be that there are some conflicts. Please report any conflict in case you find some. The last big project. Let's first center. We said 3D view. Um, the last big project was to align everything left in the modifiers. This one here. These checkboxes here are in Blender middle aligned. Also here and here. And now all modifiers have them left aligned. We have in the former release all already done this for the constraints. Readability is important to us. We have corrected an old mistake in the shader editor. Back in the time when I have added the first notes to the sidebar, um, I thought it was a good idea to separate um, the most used notes from the not so often used notes. Um, well, it worked. Quick, uh, quick access to the most used notes makes the life much easier. But apparently this has led to some confusion since now we had to two add menus, here an order and here a completely different order. And this is something that we have fixed now. Now the order here is the same than here in the add menu. Minus um, the relations um, content here, groups, note group and layout has its own tab here. What we have added here instead of having all the most common used stuff at the top is a toggle here. Let's open here. Here in this state you have all available, let's make this a bit brighter here, um, you have all available nodes like here in the add menu. The same content, the same order. With ticking the common checkbox you get the most used nodes here as a quick access. It is very easy to find now the principled BSDF, for example, or an axe or a, mix, or a mix shader. You can also turn this to icon buttons, of course. Saves even more space here. Back to the main view. We have here in the mini light lip added presets for EV lighting. Everything with an E is a special EV light setup. Everything with a C in the name is a special cycles light setup. And when there is no C or no E, then this light setup works in both renderers. What we also did is to make these light setups with, let's append it, with a collection. This was formerly parented to an empty and now it is all into a collection here. Please note that the EV presets is more a starting point. EV is a real-time engine and you usually need to work with light probes for a good result. They can be found here. In the asset browser, there were Ando and Nude hotkeys missing in our key map. Beef Artist uses a custom key map and this makes sometimes fun with the Blender defaults. Like here, was missing. 
While in the Asset Browser, we have added a direct way to access the Asset Library paths. It is now directly from the Asset Browser to the Asset Libraries. This is usually to find here in the Preferences. Then you have to click to File Paths. And this is as told now here. And that was it. The rest was the usual maintain work and a handful of fixes to keep FIFA artists in sync with Blender and to make new functionality consistent with our UI. This release also ends the current development cycle. We slowly fade into a state where we mainly update FIFA artists with the latest changes from Blender, like adding new icons and aligning new operators left. Or to add here in the notes editor, for example, everything that comes new here into our sidebar. The tracker is nearly empty. There is just a handful of issues left where we haven't found any solution yet and maybe never will. And some tasks are in direct connection with Blender reported bugs. And here we simply have to wait for the fix. So in the nearer future, our list of changes will be much smaller. But we won't stop to improve Beaver artists. The asset browser is, for example, still not finished. And so we will surely see some adjustments at our end at it. As with every release, friends, it was me a pleasure to work with you. And many thanks to our users, too, for supporting us. Have fun with the new version. Enjoy Beaver artists.